consortium board asked uh, the consortium office to first develop a CGIR-wide gender strategy. And subsequently, we asked the CRPs to come up with their strategy to make sure that gender research, research that ensures that both men and women have equal access or fair access to the new technologies that we uh, develop, that the technologies we develop aren't favoring men, that we develop technologies that are suitable for female head of households, for women working in agriculture, a whole slew of things, that we do this appropriately. Because of course, agriculture is still very much a male-dominated business. Now we're making good progress on that. Uh, we're hiring probably more gender researchers than ever before. Uh, some of our programs are really strong. Um, gender in agriculture is enormous. Mm. Women in agriculture is en enormous. Certainly in rice, we see what's called the feminization of agriculture. As you have outmigration of men from the rural areas, women are becoming uh, more and more managers of the overall uh, farming sector in, in many parts of the uh, developing world, certainly in rice-based economies. When we look at the uh, situation of women in rice mm -hmm. cultivation, rice cultivation could be among the worst jobs in the world mm -hmm. in terms of trans preparing the land, transplanting yes. rice, weeding in the mud up to your knees. It's very, very Picturesque it's, but backbreaking. It is backbreaking, yes. and uh, women are the women are the people who typically do the transplanting, who typically do the hand weeding, yeah. who typically are, are, are engaged in the harvesting. All of these are very very difficult That's operations. Yeah. Not only are they difficult, they're time consuming. Yeah. I think using human capital for that is the worst use of human capital. So I think anything we can do that can free up people from this burden that falls disproportionately on women is probably among the most effective gender uh, approaches that you can have.